Good morning children. Welcome to the another class of English literature chapter 11 Eugene and the Sharks by Eugene Clark part 2. Children in previous video we learnt that little Eugene loved spending time in the city aquarium. People around her felt that sharks were ugly and scary. But Eugene decided to learn everything about all kinds of sharks. Lemon sharks, whale sharks, tiger sharks. One day Eugene's mother surprised to see an aquarium of her own. But that was too small for Sharks, but had guppies and coral red snails in it. Now, children, what happens? Let's see in details. Chapter 11 Eugene and the Sharks by Eugene Clark, Part 2. Children, before we start with this story, I would like to discuss some new words which will help you understand this story better. First one, professors means teachers at colleges and universities. Next, scuba diving means a sport of swimming underwater with special breathing materials. Next, a species, a type or group of animals or plants of the same kind. Next, encountered, met unexpectedly. Appreciating means understanding how good someone is at something and respecting them for that. Next, Red Sea. A sea located between Asia and Africa. Plow. An island country located in the Pacific Ocean. Train. Means teach someone to do a part particular type of work. That is called train. Conservation. Means protection. Now, chapter 11, Eugenie and the Shark by Eugenie Clark, part 2. Then, what happened, children? After this, she went to explore. Where, children? Waters around the Plow Island. And here she met with whom? Yes, she met a wild shark. With time, people started appreciating. To whom? Children? Yes, Eugenie. For what? For her work. And they realized. What did they realize, children? They realized that how fearless she was. And she also showed everyone how brave she was to explore the oceans all alone. But Eugenie's work was not over. She wanted to protect sharks from dangerous human activities. One day, what happened children? Eugenie thought, can I train a shark just the way a dog can be trained? And Eugenie became the first scientist in the world to train sharks. And Eugenie showed the world, what children? That sharks, sharks were not mindless killers. And she dreamed that soon people 
would love and protect them and Eugenie's dream came true today there are many sharks conservation groups in the world which work towards the protection of sharks chapter 11 eugenie and the shark by eugenie clark part 2 so children watch this video and try to understand this